Ready? Settle. Okay. Hey, what's up? I'm Ashley Graham. And you are here on my podcast, Pretty Big Deal. We're talking beauty. We're talking body. We're talking business and owning who you are. And today, I also want to say what's up to my lovely assistant. Hi, Dars. We have a major icon in the house. She's an entrepreneur, fashion news, and she's a social We've got Kim Kardashian West in the house. Woo! <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much. Of course. So before we started filming, you said, oh, yeah, remember when we first met? And I yeah. couldn't believe that you remembered when we first met. Yeah, at the VMAs. I always remember by what I was wearing. <laughs> Same. And I remember Michael Silva did your hair because he had just yes. done my hair for the first time that week. And I love then, him. And then he said, oh, yeah, I'm going to go do, do Kim's hair. I was like, say what? <laughs> um, and it was so wet and wavy and sexy. Um, and I walked up to you because Justin, my husband, was like, if you don't go say hi to her now, because he knows how much I love you. Um, he said, you're you're going to miss out on your opportunity. And I have to say. What a good support system. Yes. Giving you a push. I know. Because yeah. I was nervous. Really? Only because, look, Kim, I have, <laughs> you have been such a staple in my life, like, when it comes to TV and having a curvy body and being a big sister and so I've always looked up to you and now you're a businesswoman Thank and you. I just for Thank me you. it was like I had to go meet my hero and then so Aww. here enough you were and you were so nice yeah, well we were sitting there and we were waiting for you know the show to start yeah. and so I'd love to see what everyone's wearing on right. the red carpet and you popped up on my phone and then you walked up to me so fun yeah um, and then a year later we met at the Met at the Met and that was my first Met and yes. you were looking so gorgeous in the white. You know, I was really up and down on going to the Met that year. You were? because Yes, because Kanye wasn't going. He was just, um, you know, kind of chilling out, not really going anywhere, doing, you know, going to events and stuff. So I was like, I don't know how I can do this on my own. Like, I can't go to the Met by myself. Right. And I was so nervous. And we had, you know, been working with one designer and it just didn't turn out. The way you wanted it The way to. that I wanted. And then Vivian and I were in the process of making these dresses, not specifically for the Met, just in general. Mm -hmm. And then it randomly came in. And I was like, you know what? This fits so good. I love it. I think I'll wear this to the Met. But I literally, as of like a few days before, wasn't going until that dress came in. Yeah. I mean, because it's such a big event that you have to get ready for. And I mean, the prep time, I mean, you stay ready, girl, but the prep time I have no. is like, it's oh a lot. Oh my gosh. It's a 360 photo. Yeah, and it really is. You're and being judged. You, you're being judged on every single step up. And it's, you know, honestly, it is so much pressure. It really is. I will say, probably my best fitting dress in the world was my Versace dress last year at the Met. 100. It was 100. your best. No. Your 100. The fit, Seriously. I have never fit anything like that. How it was made from the inside. Can you, can you break down that dress for me? Because I've been <laughs> staring at it for like, uh, for weeks now, uh, trying to be like, where did they do? And, okay. It was, it was like this. Material was? Mat like, like a stretchy material on the inside. Almost like, not really like a Spanx, like a power mesh. Okay. Mm. And it was a bodysuit underneath. Oh. So I put the bodysuit on. Did it on. snap in the crotch? Yeah. Okay. I think it could have even been like little shorts. Really? Yeah, underneath. And then it just cinched in my waist. You looked insane. Epic. I have all my, thank you. I yes. have all my Met dresses in an archive and I have the Versace in my closet. No. Yes. And North actually went in and she's always like, mom, can I have this when I'm big? Can I have this oh. when I'm big? And she's going through everything. <laughs> and she said, mom, I just want that gold cross dress that you have. Oh. And I was like, do you want to wear it to the prom? Oh. You can wear it to your prom, whatever fits you. Oh I'm like, God. You know, you better hope that you're somewhere near my height because, right. you know. Right. But we saw each other. And again, you were just the nicest person on earth. We were chatting and you said, oh, Ashley, you've got something in your teeth. Yeah. And I was like trying to get it out because you were helping me. Yeah. Next thing you know, I was, I couldn't get it out. Yeah. And you just put your finger in my mouth. Yeah. And you pulled and that And I remember it was out. like Kendall and Gigi standing there or something. I remember there was like Serena a few girls. Serena was there. Yes. And then you got it out. I had to tweet it. I was like, that first met, Kim I, pulled spinach oh out my of my God, teeth. Oh, my God. I didn't even know you tweeted that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was a moment <laughs> for me. <laughs> you put your finger I'm in I'm like, mouth. I'm not a hater. So if I see a girl <laughs> yes. with some food in her teeth or a guy, anyone, I, I'm like that. I'll, I'll let you know in a so subtle way. I'll help you out. <laughs> <laughs> but the best part was that you gave the, your phone to Serena. And you said, Serena, can you take a picture of us? And I was like, oh, my God, Serena. 
Serena Williams has taken a picture of us. It was just such I've a made moment. It. That's so that funny. I will never forget. Those how. bathroom. It's like the bathroom chronicles. That was like right across from the bathroom. Yep. And my feet. A were lot bleeding. goes down in those bathrooms. You know, my feet. I think were bleeding after the Met too. The chainmail cut my toenail or something, and I was just. What do you do when your feet hurt? I have you figured nothing. that out yet? Just, just take your going. shoes off or keep going. But once you take them off, you can't That's it. put them on back That's it. on because mm-hmm. the swelling is real. Yeah. Have you had any like how I've had these like crazy moments with you? Have you had crazy stardom moments at the Met? You know, the Met is super overwhelming because there's just so many people. There's just more moments in my life where I just like pinch myself. Mm -hmm. And I think those moments for me are kind of with Jennifer Lopez. Because I... Oh, oh Darcy I mean, is a freak about she, Jennifer. Yeah, she, I, she just honestly, in person, no makeup on. She looks so young and so beautiful. And Goals. she was always someone that I, you know, just completely looked up to. Mm-hmm. Just thought, still think, is like the most beautiful person and just... Someone that was so very nice and just someone that was like so unattainable or someone that I wouldn't know, like Mm -hmm. just before I was in the business Mm -hmm. and then meeting her. And from like day one, she's always been so nice to me. Wow. And then just moments where like I'll be at her house for dinner and she's cooking and in sweats and like her house for dinner and and she's she's like and there's just moments where I'll just sit back and be like. You know, I remember saying one time we had dinner there and Kanye came and I was just like, babe, like, I don't mean to be annoying on the car ride home, but we just had dinner at fucking Jennifer <laughs> Lopez's house. Like she cooked for us. Like, like I, you know, being in her home and her space and, her you know, yeah. and one time I was at Chloe's um, uh, baby shower uh-huh. and um, her house was close by and I had to change. And I went over there to talk to her about something and I just like brought my bag in and changed. And I'm like, wait a minute. I just literally text <laughs> JLo to be like, can I come over and change? Like, I was like, there's moments like that where I'm just like, what is my life? Like, yes. this is so exciting. That like, so obviously exciting. not like a creepy fan and, you know, right. whatever. Right. But like pictures in her bathroom yeah. of her bathroom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I would. But there's those moments where I'm just like what is this life? I feel so, you know, excited to befriend people that I look up to and admire. Well, I'm having that moment right now. So thank you for being here. Okay. So let's talk about fashion Yeah. because you are a fashion icon. You're one of mine. In fact, in many interviews, I, people say, who's your fashion icon? I say Kim because she, because you have always been chic, simple. You've been trendsetter. You've also, you're so curvy and voluptuous and sexy, but you still make it just all come together in this beautiful way. Who is your fashion icon? You know, I do get inspiration from different places, but it is really hard. Like, cause I do like to dress really simple. I think mm-hmm. that's always been the key to mm-hmm. how I dress. It's always an element of simplicity. Mm-hmm. Um, and ease. Yeah. You look I like mean, you just threw this on, but like, yeah. And I did. Cause <laughs> I had on this neon Accurate. outfit with this neon ponytail. And then I was like, Oh, I'm doing way too much. Um, you could have come like that. So I didn't I have just, a neon p- hot, hot, uh, pink. Dress I felt to crazy. Match, but, um, I was like, this is too much. All right. Um, <laughs> but you know, I do have to credit like my husband a lot though. Cause he has like a whole styling team that'll be like designing all the easy stuff. And then they'll be like, the Kim section with like there's a whole fit section. models oh, and oh yeah you have a fit model oh yeah no oh, not just a mannequin not a mannequin <laughs> I have fit models we have to like get girls with my curves and my body type and now that I'm skinny we're looking for new fit models no or skinnier way. um and yeah but like when I was pregnant we needed a fit model that was bigger and and had my this is measurements the key. this is the key to not having fitting after fitting after fitting oh, oh it's the fittings are the one thing that I can't handle so we got a fit model that had my pregnancy curves and then we put a belly on right the fit model right. and so because I mean imagine pregnant and my feet were so swollen mm-hmm. and heels and mm-hmm. I couldn't do it. I physically couldn't do it. So that's when I started with my fit models. And I was like, wait a minute, you're just sending me all the photos. They look amazing. And I'll put them up on a board. All the outfits will be there. And I'm like, perfect. This looks nice on her. I'll oh. wear this. I'll wear this. 
And if I'm doing like, if I have pink hair, then all the fit models will wear a pink wig. Oh, wow. and we'll we need get to get it. on this. So, Darcel, yeah. could you find me a fit yep. model? Because my Absolutely. measurements don't really change that much, right? <laughs> yes. But we could kind of go, we could have an LA fit model 100. and a New York fit model. It's genius. Yep. You just like. We've had fit models in New York, even just to get a vibe, if they do like a full like pull in different cities, yeah. they'll do, they'll try it on and see what works and what doesn't. Mind my mind just went, my, pff, yeah. that's it. Because I will have fittings until midnight sometimes Same, and I'm I exhausted. Use, yeah. yeah. And this is the key to life. Game that changer. is like a crazy concept. All right, so I want to talk about designers. And in the beginning, um, you, you can't tell me that it was easy to have a designer just like make something for you. Oh, it was, I mean, nobody would dress me. <laughs> right. It was like <laughs> nobody. Um, I remember Kanye taking me to Paris and bringing me into like an atelier and seeing all this stuff. And I was just so quiet and so nervous and so nervous to sit at a fashion show. And just, I think, you know, I remember going to my first Met and I'm mm -hmm. really pregnant and Ricardo Tishi dressed oh, me right. and I'm like so pregnant. And Kareen Rotfield said to me, it was like, I was literally sitting next to Donatella Versace. Madonna was at my table. I mean, I think Beyonce was at our table. It was like this, you know, I was just like all these designers, all these amazing people. Yeah. And, um, Kareen Rotfield had said to me, how many months pregnant were you? Seven and a half. Oh, geez. And she said to me, I have the best idea. Can you come to Paris and do a photo shoot for my CR magazine cover? <gasps> And Ricardo will art direct it and Carl Lagerfeld will shoot it. And I was just like, oh my God. Like inside <laughs> I was literally dying. Yes. Like literally dying. Yes. And um and then And you said yes. I said yes. And I went. And so this is actually the funniest story. So my mom has been a huge fan of Carl Lagerfeld for the longest time. Like well, she forever. Kind of dresses and in like the eighties, you know like I mean? every like She's that's the her white thing. Button up. Totally. Yes. <laughs> So, um, a friend of mine called me at the shoot. She knew how excited I was. And she's like, well, you know, on like the set of a shoot with Carl, especially if it's your first one, he gives the model a bag. And I was like, oh my God. I was like waiting all day for this Should bag for, from Carl. Right. Just so I can have it. I was so excited. So my mom comes to the shoot hours later, lets me sit there grueling, waiting for everyone for like, you know, six hours. She like waltzes in in vintage Chanel, like thigh high Chris, boots, Chris Jenner. Chanel leggings, yes. Chanel blouse with the CC gold going up, Chanel blazer from the 80s, Savage. which sees everywhere, Chanel gloves, Chanel purse, Epic. Chanel like scarf, Who is Chanel this glasses. Woman? You've never, she looks Billboard. like she the looks most like, decked uh, out insane, woman probably. in the world. <laughs> So Carl falls in love with her. Of course. And like, is he talking to her the whole time? So my shoot's over. I'm waiting for this bag. I'm waiting for this bag. I'm waiting for oh, this no. bag. Oh, no. He brings out a, a rhinestone Lego clutch. Remember those Legos? Oh, yeah. That yeah. was like a bazillion dollars. Yeah. Well, he bought a one of a kind all rhinestone one that never made it to production. It was like this sample. Did it have C's on it? Yeah. I mean, the big yeah. C's yeah, in front. Yeah. It was like I was literally shaking yeah. thinking this, this bag is for me. He walks up and he hands it to my mom. No! <laughs> and he's just like, out. Chris, no. I love you. This has been so amazing no. being with you. And I was like, oh. <gasps> <gasps> so I go in the bathroom and I start crying. Oh, no, you don't. And I call my cousin Cece, who's like my mom's age and my mom's like best friend. And I'm like, Cece. this bitch oh. stole my fucking shine. This is my first fashion shoot. This is the only time someone in fashion has paid it. You know, was this right. was my big day. This is my first everything. I'm pregnant. I'm irritable. I'm fucking, you know, swollen like my feet, everything. everything. I'm like, she's ruined my life. <laughs> And she was like, and then she like later, I told her like, mom, you know, you really stole my shine. Like this was my day. What and I'm like saying? so upset. And um, I don't think I ever told Carl or anyone that story. Like no one knows Wait, except did, for my family. Did you never get it back? Well, she has it in her closet. And <laughs> I just said, you? can you She's please like, in your will leave it to North? Because I was pregnant oh. and I wanted that as a gift oh. for my daughter yeah. of her first Chanel bag. Right. 
given to us by Carl. Right. So, I mean, I've done another Chanel shoot and he literally went all out and gave me like luggage, like all this pink luggage that's never been, I don't think the color came into production and bags and all this stuff. So I've oh. like saved that and have that. Are you ever going to use it? Um, I want it. to, but the bag is so cool. It's just in my closet. Okay, so it's just like a piece. It's like a special piece, Maybe but I will get that it. bag back from my mom. <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> Mom, oh my God, Such coming a hater. in and stealing the shine. Jeez. Stole my shine. I love that she put it in the will, though, for North. Yeah. Well, I made her. <laughs> well, she better of. Yeah. Um, I, I have to say, like, getting designers to dress me has been a mission. But then when I'm actually there and they're dressing me, I think they slowly get it. They're like, yeah. oh, no, we do need to make clothes that are not a sample size. And we need to make clothes that are for curvy girls and even over a size 12. Because yeah. a lot of designers still aren't making over yeah. a size 12. You know, it is. It, it definitely is a challenge. I mean, I think like Olivier from Balmain. He's great. He's been so great. And, and he goes up to a size 48. Yeah. And we've had conversations about, you know, sizing and shapes. And he literally made a whole collection with these like hips and corsets and bigger wow. shapes and bigger sizes yeah. from those conversations. Mm -hmm. So I think people definitely he are, and I are paying attention. On yeah, he's so he's like the best. He's I really love sweet. him. He's really sweet. Yeah. I'm excited to see what happens because it has really it's been a fight, especially like for being so I mean, I'm not just curvy, I'm also like larger. So it's to get designers to understand like where you need support, where you need darts, where yeah. you know you can't wear this, you have to wear that. So it's been a struggle struggle but have yeah. people listened to you along the way I think they have I mean I have you know Ricardo was a big like mm -hmm. person in my life and fashion mm -hmm. and he was the first person to dress me from my met he was the first person to do a shoot with me he was the first person to really believe in me he designed my wedding dress um mm -hmm. and I'm always grateful for him and he gave me so many tips along the way of you oh, know you fashion one? advice um yeah just on like like in fittings like okay. of, of fit things that um, I think have been helpful to me now not maybe at the time like how to shape your body in yeah. a way and I didn't like listen to it at the time I was like no I'm so used to dressing like this but right. then I would listen or I always needed a platform and mm -hmm. he would say you know maybe try one without or for the Met I wanted one shoe and he was like no this shoe's you know a little bit cooler mm -hmm. um isn't it funny how when you wear something like literally the next day you've got a copycat from one of these instagram brands oh it's so crazy <laughs> it's so crazy <laughs> are you just like okay all right you can go into my my shop uh what's the what's your app you just put it on oh. your story it's yes, okay yes yes screenshot screenshot yeah. which is a really good idea yeah. by the way love really that cute thing. idea to screenshot something and mm -hmm. find something similar i love it yeah um you know it's always like like I'll say something to Kanye, like the the pink dress mm -hmm. that I wore for Kylie's birthday. Soon after, mine and Kylie's outfits were like remade Everywhere. by a few different people like days after. And I said, you know, if what we should do is like have them pre-made. Yep. We Fast know what fashion. we're wearing and sell them on the site after. And yep. he's like, no, babe, you know, I don't really do oh, dresses. You know, that was just for you let them copy or, you know, it doesn't really matter. And I was like, this doesn't like infuriate you. Like this is crazy. <laughs> he doesn't really care. But you know, a lot of them are, are like a lot of Yeezy influence mm -hmm. and a lot of the stuff that we wear on a lot of these lines. So for mother's day, um, he's like the cutest. So a brand offered me a million dollars to do a post mm -hmm. on, you know, some other clothing. Mm -hmm. And they typically, I don't want to say who the brand is, but they typically knock off easy, knock off easy. So I hmm. said, you know what? It's great money. Like, let mm -hmm. me ask Kanye how he feels about it. And he's like, no, babe, I, I really don't want you to, to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, let's understandable, focus. understandable, but that's a lot of money. You know, how are you going <laughs> to ask? You know, that's a lot of money. So Mother's Day was like the next week. So Mother's Day comes and he happened to be recording mm -hmm. out of town. And I get, you know, my flowers and whatever. And then I get an envelope delivered to the door. And I was like, he wrote oh, okay. a million check. Dollars. So I opened the envelope and it's a million dollar check. And it was a note saying, thank you for always supporting me <gasps> oh, and yes. not posting. And then in the rest of the envelope, it was a contract to be an owner of Yeezy to have <gasps> my percentage. That is a amazing. Full, like a full, thick 
like contracts of my percentage of Yeezy. And that was my Mother's Day present. Oh, what that's was your real reaction? I mean, I was just like, oh my God. And you like, called you him guys. right away. Yeah, I mean, I was just like. From a husband to a wife, though, or even wife to husband, like when you start to connect on a business, like that's another form of, of trust. And I have to say, like, that yeah. that's big. Yeah. That's huge. I mean, you know, I do all my shoots for Yeezy. Mm -hmm. I do. I wear all this stuff all the time. You might we as well really be are. Girl. <laughs> right? My, I think my mom was like, are you going to cash this? And I was like, you better believe I'm going to cash this. Oh. Yes, I, I have no shame. I am cashing this check. No, I did feel bad. And I was like, oh, I can't cash it. I was like, babe, like I can't cash it. And then I was like, cash. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just put it in Two days later. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, okay, I also want to talk about your beauty business. Yes. Because this is like turning into something that is worldwide. It's, um, it, it's, I mean, it's making you some good money too. It's so much fun. Oh my my God, and you're so good at doing your makeup. Thank you. Yes. I'm not as good. You're not. I love watching it. I love learning. You can do your, you can do totally your foundation. Do, yes. You're good at skin. Yes, I'm good at skin. I can't do my own eyes. There's yeah. no way in hell you're going to catch me. I do like a really good all natural look. Okay, okay. But when it comes to color, it's harder for me, but I love it. And, and then you also have um, how many perfumes out now? Oh my gosh, I had seven original, three, three. 23. I don't even know. But fragrance is like my heart and soul. I is love it? it? I love it. Okay, I. nobody has smelt it. and uh, Like you're walking <laughs> in and it's like, oh, you haven't smelled this yet, but will you buy it? How do you, it's what's your really, strategy? So that it's never been done before right. to sell fragrance just digitally, not be in store, not have the testers and people going around spraying and giving you a sample. So... We were really nervous and it honestly just has completely taken off. I think like fragrance to me is really intimate. And so every one that I do has, it takes me a longer time to figure out what it's going to be from the bottle to the press thing mm -hmm. to, um, you know, the scent and everything. It's so emotional for me. So mm -hmm. I think people feel that emotion when I, you know, was going through a hard time and I was, people were giving me crystals and that meant something to me. And mm -hmm. then I made my perfume bottles crystals. Mm -hmm. Um, then my body or, you know, I could do fun things. Body. Or, I got the body. I right. got sent the body. Yeah. I like um, it. And it's, you know, there's just, it's a different vibe. And mm -hmm. so I'm so excited. I have a fragrance coming out early next year with Kylie. Oh, that I that's think people, exciting. She, Kylie only wears my fragrances. Aww. She's always loved them and has always collected them in her room. That's so cute. Um, since she was little and when I started. And so um, she's like my biggest supporter on that. So I'm excited for that collab. Did Kylie help you um, with tips with your makeup line? She does, yeah. yeah. We really are supportive of each other. Yes. We have like totally different products and right. We're really, um, we test each other's like, you know, we'll see each other's like formulas and launches of things to stay away and make sure that they're different and oh, well, that's good. all of that. That's yeah. good. We have good communication. Because you really have it like, I mean, you're really about the skin yeah. and the contour and she does all the lips and the eyes yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's so we don't really combo. overlap. We just have like such different mm -hmm. stuff and mm -hmm. formulas. Which is pretty perfect yeah can we also talk skincare because I feel like you're a skincare freak as much as I am I am I'm obsessed what is your regiment it's a lot so I mm -hmm. love serums okay I like lasers okay I do just what are the lasers do stuff. tightening okay I'm all about tightening okay so I need um, to do that like after the summer I'll do like a texture one or to get rid of sunspots stuff like that mm. so I think you just like have to be current yep and just like and find good people that are doing it and not just yeah. like some rando. Do you remember when you screenshot a bunch of pictures from Kim Snap? your story. Snap. Okay, you from had put Kim's on your story. story. Justin, Justin calls it the uh, the Kim lotion. And it's like a coconut after. Oh, is that not the best? Yes! I love so it. Oh, they're good. obsessed. I love that. They're obsessed. Right? <laughs> it's so no. good. Yeah. I no, love it. My favorite. After, yeah, that's uh, my, yeah, the after body. But you sent me a, uh, like screenshots of like, I don't know what these things do, but Kim uses them. Yeah. So buy them yeah. and I'm like okay ah, all right yeah. I'm on no, it because your skin's always glowing and you look right. like I'll, I'll give you the rundown okay perfect because I yeah. I'm always into a new rundown the new moisturizer I'm obsessed with right now is the August Bay Bader or something like that August I, I is saw it a it, yellow or orange bottle? no it's blue with orange with red trim rich cream um, yeah. oh I yeah. think I have it it's really rich yes it's so so I rich yeah. I just use it in the morning sometimes if I'm not wearing yeah. makeup that day yeah which I love like an oily happens. glow when I don't have makeup on mm -hmm. so I have like 
oil that I'll drop into my moisturizer. I have randomly started using frankincense in my moisturizer because really? it is an anti-aging, like natural Ooh. way, which Courtney might be more prone to. I don't know if you I'm like all them. for anything yeah? that's anti-aging. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it. It has a funny smell, but my whole routine right now has a really funky smell. Okay, so you're like, okay. For, you're okay with I'm it. I'm okay with it. Um, okay, so let's talk about keeping up. Yeah. You're in your 15th season. Next week we start season 16. Holy moly. Yeah. I mean, this has been going on for how many 11 years? 11 years now. That's insane. Yeah. Did you know when you started it that it was going to be the phenomenon that it is? Absolutely not. Did like, you have even an idea? When I was like in elementary school, the real world came on and I was like, right. that's what I want to do. And I want to be on a reality show. And everyone was just like, okay, that's so I stupid. Roll. And, um, just, you know, even season one, we were like, all right, let's just like give it our all. I had to like beg the whole family to be in it because they didn't even want to do it. And Courtney was like, I really don't want to do it. So fine. I'll just show everything because I don't care what anyone thinks about me. Who was the most reluctant? <laughs> um, Courtney. She was. But then she actually gave so much of herself because she genuinely doesn't care what anyone thinks about her. Mm -hmm. So she was like, oh, okay, I don't really care. She so, really doesn't. Yeah, she really <laughs> doesn't. Her. Yeah. Um, she should sometimes. But, uh, <laughs> I know you guys have been pretty heated on the, the yeah. last few episodes. Yeah. But what I love is that it doesn't matter what happens on the episodes. You guys always have mad love for each other. Always. Yeah. Even if we like are so crazy mad at each other, like, it won't be long no. before we're all good. I mean, the fact that, like, so many people text me, even now, like, if a rerun comes on, they're like, are you and Courtney okay? Are you serious? And I'm like, we went on vacation together. <laughs> like, this has been months since we filmed that. That was, like, in December, people you know? People have no idea. That's my sister. Well, but, yeah, right. they, just, they just don't understand because, like, on social media, it's one thing, and then they, yeah. the show comes out later, and it's, like, it's happening all over again. But yeah, and then when you truth. watch it, you get heated all over again mm -hmm. and we'll, we literally start fighting all over again Man. over the same thing. What has been your biggest or your most favorite big sister moment on the show? I look back, people love to, it's funny, like in, we have a group chat, a family group chat that mm -hmm. goes on every single day, every moment. And we'll send each other clips mm -hmm. from like season one. Mm -hmm. wow. And there's this funny clip where Courtney's like, okay, in season 16, I'll be da 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 No. And we're like, we sent it to her. We're like, you are psychic. This is so crazy. Or we'll say season 17, Kylie has a baby. Or no. my mom will make these jokes, and it's all been documented. So we'll that send it around and talk about how weird that is. And I think it's prophetic. just. prophetic. Yeah, wow. it really is. But even just seeing just the funny moments that we've had and the family vacations and all that, it's like the best home movies <laughs> Just any sister moment, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. Just seeing my little sisters grow up is yeah. really crazy. How do you feel like North is going to kind of segue into this? Do you think that she's going to be looking at um, Saint in Chicago and being like, I'm the big sister and I'm going to be just like my mom? North acts like an only child <laughs> at all times. She's um, like, no. For sure. <laughs> she does. I think she's a little confused. Um, <laughs> she does... Yeah, I mean, you used to say that in the show that yeah. she like was jealous of saying to stuff. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. She's like beyond jealousy now. <laughs> she's just like, oh, it's my world. It's like, <laughs> and you're all living. You in know, it. she said to me the other day, she's like, mom, I think we need to just I have a great plan. We just need to have a ba another baby brother so that Saint can just leave me alone. <gasps> and That's I was amazing. like she's like so the girls can be on this side of the house and the boys can be on that side of the house. She has a sign on her door that says no boys allowed oh. and she won't even let Saint step foot in her room if he does or he's with She'll me and I have him. to, you know, take care of both of them and get one ready. It's like Meltdown. full war. Like, it's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's amazing. So I've though. accepted it. Yeah. and Well, you kind of have to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. It's so funny. And he's just the nicest human being oh, on the planet. He just looks so like a little sweetie. Like, he, he just really wants to is. cuddle. Just like today, he's like, Mom, you're my best friend. <gasps> oh. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, And he's like, I love you. So, so I tried to get him on video. Yeah. And I was like, right. what say did you again. say? And he goes, I said, I love you so much, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> And I was like, oh, even better. And then he's like, mom, you are my best friend. Oh. And I'm like, you're too. You're like the love of my life. Oh. 
I think I was so nervous to have a surrogate and to have that connection that God mm -hmm. was like, I'm going to make her look just like you. Yeah. To get all your fears. And I'm sure that that had to be like an eye opening experience. I don't even know. It was. How did you? It was even the greatest find a experience. Surrogate? Experience through an agency. Okay. There's agencies for it, and you you know vet it, and it's a right. it's a pretty safe and easy process. Right. It's I have honestly a lot of the best thing I ever did. It is it? Yeah. I mean, I'm happy that I was able to carry my first two, and I physically can't do it anymore, right. or it's right. too much of a health risk for me. But honestly, seeing Kylie and Chloe just like with their big bellies. I mean, that was a you moment don't miss it? where I don't miss it, but there was, a, there was a moment where I was like, Oh damn, I wish I was doing this with them. Like I wish right. we had our sister photo shoot right. all together. Cause you know, we're you like were three pregnant together. Yeah. Wow. I mean, how come Kendall and Courtney didn't jump on that bandwagon? Kendall will be a while. <laughs> She's like made it very clear. I'm going to be an aunt for a really long time. I don't blame her yeah. Either. I don't blame her either. Yeah. Um, and Courtney, you know, she has hers. So. Yeah. She has her babies. What, how do you feel about your kids now kind of in the public eye with you? And obviously, you know, you're having conversations with them about it, but like what, what are those conversations like? You know, I just recently told a story about how North asked, like, why I'm famous and what's fame and said, you know, her and Penelope had a conversation where Penelope oh. said, do you know that, like, you're famous? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, even in fashion school, I took North, she did a fashion camp, and there was all these magazines on the table, and you have to cut out your inspiration and make a mood board and do this whole thing. And so, you know, Vogue is Kendall on the cover, and then, like, <laughs> I think I was on a cover. Her and so family. she's, like, cutting out, like, her aunts and, you know, all this <laughs> stuff. And I was just like, okay, I really think I need to break it down. I mean, our kids are so normal. Yeah. Like, the fact that they all have each other. And they, oh, thank they're God just, they do. Like, they are so normal but you definitely have to have those conversations. Yeah, I don't know how else you would do it. I mean, because there's no easy way to first raise kids. Yeah. Second of all, in the public eye. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not even thinking about having kids yet, but I can't imagine even thinking about putting them on social media. Yeah, social and media. maybe it's not for you and maybe it is. You know, right. I have a good balance. Um, if our kids are ever, you know, on the show, Kanye has to view it, he has to approve it. That's nice. We have a really good system. You know, sometimes he will, text or sometimes I'll send him a picture of the kids and then I'll see him post it. I'm like, wait, wait, I didn't want that posted. Uh, or he'll send something, you know, or he'll say to me like, I, okay, let's chill out on posting the kids for a minute. Yeah. So we will have our, our moments yeah. and, and it changes all the time. You know, Courtney will take some seasons where her kids aren't even on the show. Mm -hmm. And, um, it really all depends on how we're feeling and if mm -hmm. we're feeling like it's too much pressure to anytime they start to feel it, we're very in tune. We're very aware. And um, it's good. Yeah. I mean, cause the kids, kids come first. Yeah, absolutely. I get, it. I get it. Okay. Let's talk body image. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm a body activist and I have to, I have to talk about my body all the time just yeah. because it is what it is. But I feel like you do too, because we're constantly being judged. Yeah. Um, so in my book that I just re I, I released it last year, I talk about how being a curvy woman <laughs> hasn't been a new thing. Yeah. It's, it's been women of color that have had our body type for centuries. And here, here I am, and maybe you have the same feeling and sentiment, but here I am, a white woman in this day and age, and now I'm getting praised for having a curvy, voluptuous body, but and I've been given a platform to talk about it. But if you talk about any curvy women of color models, there there aren't any that are that have been given a platform like mine. And and it's it's I'm glad that I talked about it in my book because it was a revelation for me when my husband and I were talking about it, but because it didn't hit me because I've always had this body. Yeah. And, um, and I've always been told like, oh, your body's so great. It's so this, but I never realized the impact that women of color ha could have, like just by hearing my story of like, love who you are. Well, a lot of them were like, I already love who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you and Kanye had a conversation similar to that? Or if you had that realization, that's like, you know, this isn't a new type of body, even though people have kind of given you a crown of like being a, a body revolutionary. Yeah. I mean, I think, well, I'm half Armenian. So in Armenia, a lot of the women are really curvy. They are. And I, I, 
you know, obviously all my family was super curvy. They are. Um, but like my aunts and, and cousins and everyone's really voluptuous. Okay. And so um, when I went to Armenia, I saw so many women that were really voluptuous as well. So I was always kind of told, it's really interesting. When I was um, entering high school, my dad wrote me this like four or five page letter about body confidence mm. and no, about didn't. yeah and about taking care of my body and about respecting my body and not letting a man treat me a certain wow. way or take advantage what? of me and I was I like had huge boobs when I was 11 I used right. to cry all the time like Aww. please don't grow please Damn. don't grow it was so Courtney didn't it was so embarrassing they'd make fun of me Courtney was so mean she'd like tell everyone Kim wears a bra like oh, at 11 no. and like you know try to embarrass me with everyone and the boys and stuff so you know my dad was really sensitive to that and just wrote me this letter like I know you're so uncomfortable now, but you know, you're going to love your body oh. and you know, but don't let any guy take advantage of you. And so many guys, even older guys are going to want you for your body and not for the right reasons. Like it was like, he broke it down for me. Oh, wow. And I have this letter and I've read it, you know, still, and it inspired me to every year I write my kids letters oh, once amazing. a year on their birthday. I write them a letter about what the year is like. And I can't wait till I get to those points when I can address some of the things that my dad addressed with me. I think that you've always given off a positive. I mean, I've always looked up to you as well because growing up, I've never, I never had a role model that had the same body as me. I was always told like, oh, look up to JLo and Marilyn Monroe because they've got two of the most curviest bodies. But there was never anybody with back fat or cellulite or things like that. That. Oh, we talk about it all the time. But I also think that's why when I just recently got a lot of backlash for saying a comment right. about, I don't even know what was said. I think one of my sisters. Well, um, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> tell me. It, it was, um, you and Chloe were somewhere. I don't know. We you, were at a poker tournament. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You were at a poker tournament. And um, you've recently lost a little bit of weight because you've been working out like crazy. And you were giving each other compliments saying, oh, you, you're so anorexic looking. You look so good. Yeah. And next thing you know, it spiraled into, yes. well, hey, I have people were saying, well, I've got anorexia. How dare you? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, looking back and having said that, I 100% completely understand where people would be coming from that felt that way. Yeah. So my intention is never to offend anyone and I really you know, apologize if I offended anyone because um, an eating disorder is, so I know people that have serious eating disorders that have been in and out of the hospital mm -hmm. for 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Close people, so I've like been through I've experienced it enough to have like known better. It was insensitive, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Kanye a little bit and marriage because I'm eight years in yeah. and you're four years. I'm four years in, but seven years together, six years together. And three kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you care if I just like ask you a bunch of like sure. kind of rapid fire? Go. Um, sure. What's your advice to newlyweds? Just have fun. Don't lose yourself. Like still make date night. Day night is important. Maybe that's advice to like people in general. Far in. Okay. Yeah. What's the most surprising part about marriage? These aren't really rapid fire. Shit, sorry. It's a <laughs> lot. You know, um, marriage is a lot. It's a really big commitment. Mm hmm. I've been married before and it wasn't a commitment. Mm hmm. And this is a commitment. That's awesome. So just put in the work. It's not, you know, you have to put in work. It's never easy. It's never easy. Mm -mm. And you just have to want to work at it. Yeah. Um, what's the most normal part about your marriage? That we just sit in bed at nighttime and watch like family, family feud or whatever. <laughs> or we fight over like, he wants to watch Rick and Morty. And I'm like, can oh we my just gosh, please Rick and Morty. watch like the Long Island medium, you know? Oh my God. What makes your family just like every other? We really are just like every other. We fight. We all cook together. We, so it's like we're like really the most normal family. I get it. I know. I knew you were gonna say that. Um, one thing you'd like to change about your husband? Mine is I want him to stop mm. snoring. Kanye is definitely a little bit narcoleptic. <laughs> he falls asleep like everywhere, like baby sonograms. No. You know my first fashion dinner that I've ever 
<clears throat> been to when he was introducing us to people that would have invited yeah. me to our first show. Yeah. They hardly spoke English and no. were in France. And he falls asleep at the dinner table. No. Come on, Kanye. At the, in a restaurant. Come on. Yeah. What's one thing he'd want to change about you? I know Justin would rather me not burp or curse. He would probably like it if I sent him sexy pictures more often. Really? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got to get with it. Um, okay. I also want to talk about faith just a little bit because yeah. you talked about how your mom starts um, a group text every morning with a Bible verse. Yeah. And we do that as well. Um, Justin and I try to have a Bible study every morning and it's, it, it sets That's the, amazing. it sets the day. It sets the intention. Yeah. And it's also, there's nothing like having a relationship with God yeah. to like bring up, um, like whenever you're going through a sticky situation, you know that no matter what, if your family's not there, you've got the Lord. And I had no idea that you guys were such um, hardcore Christians. Yeah. Um, do you and Kanye have Bible studies just by yourselves? We don't. I mean, we'll send each other like different biblical verses, and he'll 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 definitely come to church. Mm-hmm. He'll love it um, when we're there. You know, I think we're more spiritual. Mm-hmm. I think we really believe in like the afterlife and heaven and just really spiritual yeah and um our, my whole family is and we just live our lives like that we just try to be good people and respect other people and mm-hmm. be kind well that's a christian and that is yeah <laughs> like you know really we grew up really christian yeah and our kids are raised that way mm-hmm. we read the bible with them daily mm-hmm. um like a kid's bible that's and awesome. they love it Aww. And that's like their bedtime stories. And just that's how we were raised. Yeah. So um, that's nice know. that you guys have the same religious background because yeah. Justin and I met in church and that was like the one thing that like glued us together, like through the thick and thin, the highs and the lows. It was God that was at, always at the center of our relationship. And I feel like that's how we sustained these eight years. Yeah. Um, okay, so every every episode we give a props to a pretty big deal, and today's pretty big deal, and it's it's either a person or initiative, and today's pretty big deal is Serena Williams, because yes, yes hello Woo. girl, because she just had a meltdown with Olympia on um, the airplane, and she talks about how it was just a very stressful moment, and she wanted to give uh, a platform for other women. She said hashtag this mama. Um, I um, saw that. Yes, for other women to talk about their issues and. She she just was like, this is a real situation. And I love that she is so open yes. with her. With her daughter. With her daughter and her mom's struggles yes. and her everything. I, I mean, know. you know, I, I actually was texting with her yesterday. And we were just, you know, she was getting ready for a tournament. And, you know, we were just going back and forth about our kids. And, you know, it's, she's so open. And yeah. it is, it's not. People think like, oh, they'll see pictures of your cute kids online and it's so cute. I'm like, I was telling her, I was like, three, wait, just, just wait. <laughs> like it's our mornings looks like a tornado <laughs> hit, went through the house <laughs> and getting, you know, ready. And even just to like brush teeth and do hair oh, oh. is like a mission, you know, it's like, it's a mission. Yeah. Mission impossible three. Yeah. I can only imagine. <laughs> totally. Um, okay. This is like a real rapid fire, not like okay. the marriage rapid fire. We're going to do a quick rapid fire with Kim Kardashian West on pretty big deal. So here we go. Okay. Pretty big summer jam. I'm really listening to Ariana Grande right now. Yeah. Oh, her new album. Her new album's so great. I love it. And she's just the cutest thing. Yeah. A pretty big break in the internet moment. Let's give that to Serena when she wore her tutu. Yes. I thought that was really cool. Oh, okay. The dress. A uh, pretty big makeup trend. Right now, I would say I'm really into a colored eye. Okay. Yeah. I did like your blue moment. Thank you. Mm-hmm. A uh, pretty big milestone. I am most proud of my kids, mm. that they are all nice, despite North not <laughs> thinking that she's an only child, living her life that way. She still is a really nice person. Got it. Pretty big turn off. Oof. When someone isn't like engaged mm. and paying attention or oh, into it. When they lose eye contact. Yeah. When they're not into you. I, I'm into you, girlfriend. No, <laughs> Pretty big mentor. My grandmother. Oh, that's She's nice. the best. 
She's so cute. She really is. So sweet. MJ. Yeah, MJ. MJ. Um, pretty big recommendation. It could be anything. Oh, I am obsessed with Handmaid's Tale. So Same. I will rec. Are you? Have you <laughs> finished? Finished. Oh, finished. I die for it. I know. Yeah, Same. I recommend anyone to watch it. It's so dark. It's so. Wait, have you watched The Sinner yet? No, I'm like, I'm only one episode in. Oh, okay. I got to like get into get it. Get in like a couple episodes, but I was like, this is amazing. Okay. okay. My mom, everyone said it. My mom, everyone's been. It's so good. Like into the center. Last but not least, pretty big motto. Just positive vibes only. I like that. Positive vibes only. Um, before I let you go, two things. What is the legacy that you want to leave when you go? I would love to just have people remember me I've I've always said this is just being a kind person Mm -hmm. um you know someone that has like pushed pop culture and done it with a big loving family and kindness it's just that simple someone that had fun Mm -hmm. life is so fun I love having fun doing what I love to do and as long as I have my family, like it's all good. That's good. I love that. Yeah. Um, what, anything coming out that we need to know about? Amazing makeup stuff coming out, like new launches of really fun, colorful makeup um, that I'm really excited about. Okay. Um, and more fragrance. It's just Please. very yeah. exciting. Thank you so much, Kim. Of course. I really appreciate you being here. And don't forget, you are bold, you are brilliant, you are beautiful. Appreciate you all being here. And thank you again, Kim. Come over to me. Set the whole place on fire.